Okay, so in this video, we have to determine if this integral is improper and if it converges or diverges. So first notice that it is improper because we have an infinity symbol as one of the limits of integration. So that automatically means that it is improper. Now we have to figure out if it converges or diverges. So in order to do that, what we can do is we can try to evaluate it. If we get an actual number as an answer, then we know that it converges. If we don't get a number, then we know that it diverges. Let's go ahead and start by rewriting our integral. So we have 21 to infinity of cosine of pi x dx. So this is equal to, so because we have an infinity, what we do is we replace the infinity with a variable. I like to use the letter b, and then we take the limit as b approaches infinity. And we still have the 21 here. Then we have cosine of pi x dx. This is equal to the limit as b approaches infinity. So when you're integrating cosine, what you do is you ask yourself, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? So sine, so the integral of cosine is sine. Here we have cosine pi x, so what we do is we simply divide by the pi. This will be sine pi x over pi. And this is a shortcut way of integrating um, this in particular. Normally, if you were taking, say, like a calculus one class and you would be new to integration, what you would do is you would let u equal pi x. And then um, your du is the derivative of u. If the pi hangs out. The derivative of x is simply dx. Then you would make your pi dx look like what's up here, but there's no pi, so you would divide by pi. And that's where you get the one over pi, that's where it comes from. So this would become one over pi, right? Because dx is du over pi. And then you would get your cosine u here, and you would integrate, so you would get one over pi, cosine of u, which is pi x, and then plus c. But normally, you know, in problems like this, we don't necessarily go through all of this, but it's a good reminder of where it comes from. So whenever you're integrating cosine of a number times x, you basically just integrate cosine and you divide by the number. So one more time, say it was cosine of 2x, that would be sine 2x over 2, right? Just a, a quick refresher. All right, let's keep going. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches infinity. And now we plug in um, the b for the x. This will be, I'll write it like this, one over pi, and I'll leave that out. Okay, let's leave that out. Um, and then plug in the b, so it'll be sine pi b minus sine pi times 21, so 21 pi. All right, so 21 pi is just a number, no big deal there. Um, but the sine of pi b and b is approaching infinity. So sine is a wave function, it oscillates. So as b approaches infinity, um, the function doesn't approach anything. It just bounces back and forth forever. So this limit is not going to exist. So it's d and e on this limit. Because the limit does not exist, we say that the integral diverges. If we get a number, then it converges. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck and take care.